Okay, frame five is really easy. It's just a couple shots and a looping shot of these shoes. So here's the, here's how it looks in the spot. In between, you have the power to create your own look. Not. So inside here. You have the power to create your own look. It's really this shot of the shoes looping and then two more quick shots of feet and shoes. The real thing I want to show you in this frame is this thing called a looping expression where we can take a clip and we can add JavaScript code to it and make it loop infinitely. Now the first thing I want to show you is just the looping expression in general uh, and so what I'm going to do is actually just do a quick demonstration. So here we have a circle. I'm going to add a quick animation like this. Great. There's, a, there's the animation. So if I right click this position right here and go to edit expression, you can see now this code window opens up and you can see this expanded. There's actually a menu right here. I mean, if you can do JavaScript, have at it, but I don't. I use these menus right here. If I click that little triangle, there's a bunch of pre-made JavaScript code snippets that you can use. The one that I use all the time, and the, what I want you to know how to use, is this loop out expression inside the property menu. So if I just click that, what happens is it basically waits for the end of that last keyframe, and it can be more than two keyframes, but it waits for the end of that kind of keyframe sequence, and then it just loops infinitely from there. So uh, if I want to make it faster, I just move the keyframe closer. It updates automatically. Uh, the only thing that I'll do code-wise is if I want to change the, the type from cycle to ping pong. So I can do, if I just type in ping pong like that, I can do that. So cycle and ping pong are the two JavaScript code words that I know, honestly. And it's, it's a really powerful thing to get into if you want to get into expressions. It's amazing what you can pull off. But um, yeah, I use the loop out expression all the time. Sometimes I change it to ping pong, and that's about it. You know, and you can also go into this animation too and do the old graph editor move. And that's going to all, yeah, it's going to convey and loop. There we go. So now I've made it seamless because it's basically a two second long and 20 frame clip. If I make this a 10 frame animation, it's going to loop uh, seamlessly pretty much seamlessly. So yeah, that is the looping expression as a good demonstration. It's really powerful. And now we're going to apply that to a clip. And if I go back into the stock video layer right here, I wanted to get this clip right, right after it kind of zoomed in like this, like about right there. It's moving the whole time, but that's okay. So about right there, I've already made the edit. I hit the overlay edit button to bring the clip in. I'm just going to, I'm going to expand it a little bit. That's too much. There we go. Turn this off. So that's the whole clip and we're going to loop that. And the way to do that is to right click that layer, go to time, enable time remapping. Now you can see how this keyframe gets added automatically to the clip. What's happening is it actually adds uh, a keyframe to the beginning and to the end of any clip, if it's a video clip like this, using time remap. So even though I can't see it, there's a keyframe all the way at the beginning of this whole stock video clip. 
and you can see it by if we click this button right here to, to navigate between keyframes there's a keyframe right here at the very end and if I hit left there's a keyframe all the way at the beginning of this clip which is way off of the timeline outside of this composition but the important thing to know is just to navigate to that with that arrow button and then click this to delete it because we don't need it really we just want we want keyframes for this clip right here that's it so now that we have that deleted there we go now we do the same thing we just select this time remap right click edit expression menu property loop out Now, we have to extend this layer to the very end now, so it loops. There we go. Now it loops with the expression. Super powerful thing to know how to do, especially for video clips. And actually, we could make it a little bit cooler by making this a ping pong. That's not bad. Again, we don't need it to be super long because in according to the finished spot, we're gonna be cutting away anyway to different clips. You have the power to create your own look. Not Yeah, those two clips. Which again can be whatever you want, but uh, I'm gonna put those two clips in after this. You have the power to This is important to know too, this clip has audio on it, and when you do the ping pong, look what happens. You have the power to create your own look. You have so it's looping the audio too. Just make sure you turn that off. You have the power to create your own look. It's about right here when it cuts away. Go back to the stock video. Just find some cool clips. <laughs> That's not a cool clip. But what I'm gonna do is actually add, put another clip in here and then I'm gonna use that slip tool uh, shortcut Y to just basically uh, edit this clip a little bit more but but have the in and out point stay the same that part's nice right there You have the power to create your own look. Oh. You have the power to create your own look. You have. Okay, this shot's not very cool, but I can use shortcut Y and just slip it to find something else, but keep the same in and out points. This is kind of nice. There we go. You have the power to create your own look. You have the power. That's great. Frame five is done.